My name is Aram, my pronouns are he, him, and welcome to God's Fall. My name is Michael, my pronouns are he, him. I play Zion Preeton, the newly arisen god of force. My name is Doug, and my pronouns are he and him, and I play Doro Knot, the newly arisen god of travel. My name is Joe, my pronouns are he, him, and I play Lord Haldir Loran, the newly arisen god of war. My name is Kelly, my pronouns are she, her, and I play Rena Falaval, the arisen god of luck. When we last left Haldir, he had asked Caitlin if she would like to bridge with him. He knew of her ability to connect with different timelines and wished to show her his visions of other realities. The bridging did not go as planned, and the Lord of Ryland soon found himself in a strange place and a strange time. natural one what did you roll um i rolled a 14 and a three it's because it's divinity right 17. yeah tell me what you wanted to happen uh, i wanted to bridge and then i wanted to see if she could explore my different realities with me with her traveling so you abilities. wanted to bridge and show her the different realities that was your goal yeah so you will reach out like she puts her hands up and do you reach out as well yeah okay so you reach out you're moving to close your hands around each other. And she looks at you and she's like, don't worry. I've done this a lot of times. It's gonna be just, and your hands clasp and both of you simply vanish. And we're gonna hold you right there. As the love with all the hunk about compression to go out and get a job and be the thing that everybody thought you'd be while growing up. And I am swag like you know what's up. I'm black guy showing up on you zombies while the backdrops blowing up. Everybody wanna be a tough guy. My big brother always wanna tell me what's right. Even though it's out of love and rites of passage, sometimes I wanna slide him down a bar and break all the glasses. Like that's it. You got expectations? I'll press press them before I break them. So while you cry over spill beer, I don't sulk. Cause grab life by the hips and go home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Call up DJ, we out of here. I need a new captain of the ship to steer. Hey, hey, hey. Now everybody follow my lead from Moody Cinemax to the old school way. Dear, we may be in trouble. Haldir appears in the equivalent of Times Square in the 1980s. He stands in the glaring neon of a crisp fall evening as rivers of horseless metallic wagons trundle by. A sputtering of life hums from each, creating a constant rumble that echoes from all sides. Towers of glass and metal loom overhead, with only a few feet separating them. Thousands of people walk briskly and sometimes roughly past, in seemingly every direction at once. He finds himself in a large bull surrounded by a bay, rung on all sides with docks awash with light. They glow without a flicker, for none contain flame. Strange, chirping music leaks out from several boats filled with rambunctious youth dotted about the harbor. Everything is utterly overwhelming, but even in that moment, Haldir can still make out the shrill cry of a gray box encased in a glass rectangle. It sits at the edge of a raised stone platform that seems to separate those on foot from those encased within the horseless carriages. The sound is that of a bell, rapid and insistent, that rings for a few seconds, falls quiet, and then rings again in the same manner. Thank you for joining us for this preview of God's Fall Episode 100. We have so much planned for our next Washington DC session with the original God's Fall crew. 
will be recording for two solid days at the end of March. And in addition to Caitlin and Haldir's romp through modern Kadar, we'll have group and individual stories to tell with the entire cast. We'll also be showcasing two new guests playing a pair of Arisen Gods we have yet to introduce that will have huge impacts on the fate of Kalgun. In order to raise funds for Season 5 of God's Fall, I'll be releasing a limited overstock of the original God's Fall Worldbook print edition. We'll be selling them online at godsfall.com worldbook. The overseas shipping sucks, and we know it, so if you can't pick up a print edition, we'll be selling PDFs at half off. We also have a ton of content up on our Patreon and are adding to it every week at patreon.com slash Vardian. And we'll see you all next time in the world of the five kingdoms. Mm-hmm.